All right, going to try and keep this to one topic. Hello, Crime Stoppers. This is a little, little short thing about justice. And again, it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. It does not matter. They don't care. If, in fact, they'd rather you not believe it, slave. Um, but they don't care if you believe it. They believe it. Uh, they worship the elder gods. Uh, astrology is part of the thing, part of their religion. Um, Saturn is part of it. The Tarot is part of it. Uh, so here is justice. What does that say right there? Okay, the, what, so when you think of justice, you think of fairness, of course. Uh, cause and effect, balance, equilibrium, responsibility, right? Justice, fairness. Okay, if it's reversed, what do you get? You get lack of accountability. You get unfair treatment. You get dishonesty. You get legal flaws. You get imbalance. Okay, so here is... And I can talk about, there's so many, so much symbolism here. And the fact that it's two to one, that go, you know, there's a golden mean there. This is the 10th card. It used to be the 8th card. Used to, anyway, sword pointed up, scales down. That's a, obviously a man. Uh, there is the crown with three points showing. There is the jewel over the, here and the jewel over the heart. Here is live blood. Here is green that symbolizes the heart and the heart over, uh, anyway, the, these colors here. Um, let's see here. Uh, we'll leave it there. How about this one? Uh, here are the pillars. The other one was missing the pillars. And go find out what the pillars mean. And between the pillars, they drape this cloth. It's the 10th, uh, or excuse me, the 11th uh, card. Uh, there again, the three points. There is the jewel. There is the other jewel. This should be green. This is red. Oh, sword pointed up, scales down. That's a man. Uh, how can justice not see? You have to be able to see to be able to make a good judgment. If you're blind, your judgment might be a little off. Seated, by the way. Uh, and usually you'll see, and here's the, an older one. See, that's a eight there instead of a 11. But uh, sword pointed up, scales down, that's a man, that's a king, actually. Still only three points in the crown, jewel there, right? Oh, this time it's a blue robe instead of green, but it's still red, seated. And now here's Lady Justice. Oh, where's the mean? Where's the two to one? Nope. Uh, scales uh, up, sword down. Let's go back to this, and maybe you can use your logic and reasoning skills. Probably not, but let's see here. Um, that would be the reverse. That would be the opposite. Everything is the opposite. It's a man, sword up, scales down. Uh, two to one. Hmm. Blind, right? Because obviously, are these guys blindfolded? No. Can they see? Yes. Can they make judgment? Yes. Scales up, sword down, it's a female, everything's the opposite. Blind, can't see, no crown, right? Standing, not seated. There it is again, right? There's your lady justice. It just cracks me up. You guys think you're going to get justice when this is the symbol that they're showing, right? They just laugh at you. There it is again, sword down. Oh, look, now it's even more reversed because the sword is in the opposite hand and the scales are up and the scales are behind. Can you see? So this is absolutely in reverse. It's behind her. That's not a him. Blind, no crown, standing. And we can talk about what she's standing on. But anyway, uh, oh, look, sword down, scales up, female, right? Wearing a toga. Okay, we can get into that symbolism also. Here's the perfect uh, example of scales up, sword down, female standing. The reverse. That is justice. That is a card known uh, in the tarot for millennia, for as long as we, we, we've had a tarot uh, deck that uh, this, and you know, they've shoveled around the cards. And again, how many cards do we get? We get 52. How many cards do they get? 78. Uh, and you don't know what the cards mean. And I can go over every single one of these cards and they all, nothing's in here by accident, right? Everything on that card is, has significance or it wouldn't be there. Uh, seated, right? And oh, look here, the throne that he's sitting on has the two pillars and the, the symbolic cloth. You guys figure, I'm not telling you everything, because if you tell everything, 
then it means nothing. So you figure out where, where, where's the throne? Where are the two pillars? Where is the two to one ratio? Where's the golden mean? Why is this up and this down? If this is supposed to be justice. Now, what do you get? And I could uh, go, go to different courthouses, but see this picture right here. This picture cracks me up. You slaves, you ridiculous slaves. I mean, just constantly, they're just constantly laughing at us. Now, uh, this is just one teeny tiny piece of the puzzle. Uh, the puzzle is much bigger. Uh, and again, I don't care and they don't care if you believe or not. They believe it. These people are fiercely religious to the point where they're sacrificed their firstborn. Um, to the point where they believe that these gods should have blood sacrifice and they give them blood sacrifice. Although uh, you guys, most Christians, uh, pretend to drink the blood and eat the flesh. They actually eat the blood or drink the blood and eat the flesh. And uh, by their symbols, you will know them. Uh, this is the symbol for justice. That is not the symbol for justice. That's the symbol they gave us for justice to let us know exactly what happens. So once you understand that when you walk into a court of law, and it's not a court, right? <laughs> you're not walking into court. You're walking into a court room. <laughs> ah, you got to know what the words mean. Simple as that. Yusufrakt. Here's one of my favorite words. Yusufrakt. What does that word mean? What does justice mean? And I'm not going to get in. Gonna, I put some other, but we'll just keep it at this. Right? If you can't figure out that this is reversed, um, when somebody stuffs it in your face, like I just did, I just feel bad for you. If you're thinking that you're going to go get justice when this is the flag that they're flying or this is the symbol or statute that stands in front of the uh, building that you're walking into or is on the wall, um, yeah, <laughs> I love it. And uh, this has more meaning and symbolism than you can possibly understand. Um, and it doesn't mean what you think it means. I mean, constantly just laughing at you. A man standing. Hmm. So this is the beginning of corruption. But this is justice. A man seated. Uh, who can see with a crown, with the sword pointing up, with the scales down. That is justice between the two pillars. What are these two pillars? That is not justice. That's lady justice. That's the opposite of justice. That's exactly the opposite. See, and when you play, uh, or when you play, that's not the right word, when you're dealing <laughs> with these cards and it turns upside down, that's the reverse. So when you're doing a reading, if you're into that kind of thing, then you uh, get the opposite meaning, right? And do you see that the, what they have done to the slaves has corrupted you completely? to the point where you don't even know what the symbols mean. You don't know what the words mean, and you don't know what the symbols mean. But this is the opposite of justice. This is justice. Govern yourselves accordingly. All right, Crime Stoppers, that's it. E pluribus unum. <laughs>